Hey Ted, how does Motor City Spindle estimate the cost of a spindle repair? You know, this can be something that can be difficult if you don't have a lot of experience rebuilding an exact make or model uh, spindle. But um, as Ray Baldwin uh, used to say way back in the day, um, you know, it, it's kind of like trying to quote rebuild an engine without popping the hood. And uh, I agree with that analogy, but if you've rebuilt hundreds and hundreds of spindle motors and you've popped that hood hundreds of times, um, it's not too difficult to look at your, at your costs um, in labor and parts and give you guys a breakdown for those spindle repairs. So what I've uh, developed here at Motor City Spindle is we give you the standard work scope of what has to happen to every single spindle to have it recertified correctly. So the way that process looks is a spindle comes in, we tear it down, we inspect it, we identify all the components that need to be reworked, replaced, and we quote you for exactly that. Um, that's gonna entail replacing all your bearings, O-rings, and seals. We're gonna be doing a dynamic balance, we're gonna do a finish assembly, and then we're gonna test run your spindle while performing vibration analysis. Uh, the process for the, for the testing is recorded on video uh, and, and shown to you um, after the repair is completed upon request. Now, that cost, again, is gonna be your standard repair cost. But if we get into a unit, for example, that's motorized and we don't know if the motor rewind is necessary or not, then that is something that we'd add on at the end as a line item. So if we're repairing your spindle at an estimated $8,500 and the spindle repair is, uh, excuse me, the motor rewind is $2,000, obviously, we're gonna add those and come up with a price of 10,500. We're gonna do the same thing for regrinding tapers, bearing journals, housing bores, replacing rotary unions, um, rebuilding drawbars, encoders, everything that goes along with the spindle. So that's how we come up with a standard repair cost for all spindles we rebuild, and then how we come up with the finalized price based on the exact work scope to your spindle. And we think this really works out to your advantage because that way you're not paying top dollar OEM pricing that encompasses everything being rebuilt on your spindle if in fact your, your motor uh, windings are good and different components on your spindles are good. But everything is still certified 100%. We stand by it with a one year in-service warranty, which of course means that the warranty does not start when we send it back to you it starts when you actually put it back into the machine tool and cutting chips. So any questions, let me know. Appreciate it.